Hi, my name is Jason Murray and I'm an architecture consulting engineer here at Cisco. In this video I'm going to walk through the download and initial setup of the UCS emulator. This emulator is a great tool to show the many features UCS offers. It also gives you something to use to get more familiar with the system as well as use for demos. So let's get started. First you need to download the emulator. So go to developer.cisco.com. The emulator is located under the Unified Computing section. At the making of this video, there are currently two versions, the 1.4 version and the 1.3. For this video, I'm going to download the 1.4 version. You're going to need a Cisco.com user ID to download either of them. Take a moment and read through the installation prerequisites to make sure you have the correct requirements on your host system. In this version, you'll need at least 1 gig of free RAM, not just total. Since this emulator is a VMware virtual machine, you'll need one of the listed VMware products installed. On my system, I'm using VMware Workstation. After you read the license agreement, scroll down and click the I Agree button. Then, save the zip file to your computer somewhere. Once it's downloaded, extract the contents of your zip file. Now that all the files are in place, you can now start the virtual machine by opening the UCSPE virtual machine file. Since I have VMware Workstation installed, it's going to open up this UCS virtual machine in that. Next step that needs to be done is to power up this UCS VM. This will take some time, so what I'll do is I'll forward the video up to when it's finished booting up. Alright, UCS is booted up and grab the DHCP address. Now if you want to change it for some reason, you can log in as config with password config and choose option A to change the settings. For now, I'm going to keep the IP address. Now UCS should be reachable from your host. For this demonstration, I have another VM in VMware that I'm going to use to connect to UCS. Now we'll open up the recommended Firefox browser and input the IP address of my emulator. Okay, now you can see we've reached the UCS emulator. Before we launch UCS, let's go over some of the th items that you can configure in this emulator. Under the hardware inventory section, you can see what equipment is configured at startup. As you can see, the emulator has already been configured with one chassis. This particular chassis has two servers, eight fans, and four power supplies installed. Down at the bottom of the screen are hardware devices you can drag up and install into this chassis or create a new chassis and install it into that. You can also look at what type of hardware is available by going to the hardware catalog. You can see there's blades, a number of type of CPUs you can use, different types of memory, hard drives, I.O. adapters, fans, and power supplies. There's a lot of hardware options when building your emulator. There are some more configuration options under emulator settings. The one setting under here I want to point out is database persistence. By default, the UCS database will reset after each restart. If you want to keep any configuration settings, you'll want to select preserve UCS database upon restart. And there are some other settings like NTP and such. But for now, let's open up UCS manager and see what that looks like. To open the manager, you just click the launch hyperlink just like a regular UCS installation. Now the UCS manager is downloading. Now you'll log in with the username of config, password config. Alright, now the emulator is up and running using the equipment you configured earlier in the settings. There are some limitations to the emulator due to the fact there is no real hardware, so you won't be able to do things such as remote KVM or install software. So be sure to download and read the UCS Platform Emulator Guide on the Cisco Developer website to get a complete list of the limitations. Thanks for watching, and always thanks for choosing Cisco.